Starbucks has named a new CEO on Thursday. Laxman Nara Simon will join the company as incoming CEO on October 1st and then take the helm on April 2023, or April 1st, I should say. Let's bring in Yahoo Finance, Brooke De Palma, who's here with the details. Um, Brooke, number one, this was a bit of a surprise name. I think a lot of people are saying, well, what does this say about the strategy, but also the first outsider to be tapped to lead the company. That's right. Normally what they do is they'll bring someone in, bring them in in a COO role or a CFO role, and then eventually they'll take the helm of the company. But of course, a different story here with Loxman. He was most recently uh, CEO of the London-based company Reckitt. They are known for Lysol, Mucinex, as well as Airborne. He served as CEO for the past three years, and he was tasked with really cleaning up the company. He reportedly moved to cut costs, invest in the company's supply chain and product research, and he also sold off underperformance divisions and scrapped a potential breakup there. Of course, prior to that, he was at PepsiCo. He served there as the chief commercial officer. He was really responsible for long-term growth there as well as advancing digital capabilities. He also was CEO of some uh, operations, including the sub-Saharan Africa operations, as well as a few others. So really a global perspective here. Prior to that, he was a, a senior partner at McKinsey and Company. So really a vast um, experience. And he never actually was in retail. He's more of a consumer product goods background. Now, of course, important to keep in mind here that Schultz will remain on the board Come April 1st, 2023, he will almost be an advisor to Loxman here. An important plan going forward, of course, that reinvention plan set to be announced with more detail on September 13th at their investor day. Brooke, someone comes in from McKinsey, you imagine they're trying to do a lot of changes there at the company, especially bringing someone from the outside. What's Wall Street saying about this particular pick? This is a stock that's down 27% year to date. Yeah, absolutely. Lots of uh, things to clean up, essentially, at Starbucks. Lots of things to address, most definitely. Really, the, the consensus out there is mixed. It was definitely a surprise to Wall Street, although the reaction as far as the stock price largely unchanged here. Of course, we anticipated a new CEO needed to be picked. Uh, Howard Schultz, this is now his, say, third or fourth time returning as the CEO, of course, interim CEO here, a more, you know, uh, role that needed to be filled come the fall. And so it was a matter of when. And so these analysts really were anticipating it. But now that the CEO has been announced, they can move forward with a focus on long-term growth as well as um, a, you know, a strategic plan here, that reinvention plan. But with that being said, he is an unknown entity to U.S. restaurant investors here. So he has lots to prove there. Now, in addition to that, they're also um, bringing him in to keep a close eye on China. In the past quarter, we saw sales there decrease by 44 percent, largely due to the COVID-19 policy restrictions there. Of course, Loxman coming in with that global perspective. At the same time, we're seeing those unionization efforts pick up. As of Wednesday, we have 233 stores voting in favor of unionization efforts. But Loxman here really coming in, hoping to sort of pick up the ante, get things moving. One risk that the says face is that since he's coming in as incoming CEO on October 1st, that reinvention plan is already set in place. So come April, it'll be interesting to see what sort of influence he has on it. April. It's far away from now. Just important to remember. Far away, it's but it's going to come fast. About seven months. I'm counting down. Yeah, long right. transition. Long transition. Yeah, long absolutely. Transition. Yeah, I finance is Brooke De Palma. Thanks Thank so you. much.